Welcome to Quantum. In this video, we are going to show you how you can backtest a trading strategy and auto trade them. Quantower allows creation of trading strategies using C-Sharp Algo extension. Once a strategy is created, the strategy can be deployed into the platform for backtesting with the historical data and also auto trade the strategy in a live trading environment. We have created a sample strategy based on super trend indicator and let's quickly explore how we can backtest the strategy. To start, go to the dashboard and select the panel strategy runner. Select the strategy that you want to backtest. I am selecting super trend strategy from the list. Now go to the backtest option a panel will open up which will which we need to fill up with the required information let's give a name to the strategy enter the period or the interval that you want to backtest the strategy for provide the required super trend parameters The quantity for the strategy can be selected by way of lots or by way of value of the stock. So suppose you are trading the equity markets and you want to trade for value of 2 lakh rupees. You can select quantity by value and enter the amount. So automatically the quantity will be calculated by the system based on the value of the stock. For now I am setting the value as 1 and uh, this can be traded for futures and options or it could be for even for equity markets as well. The strategy gives the flexibility to trade both the direction. You can select buy or you can select sell or you can select both. This parameter is quite useful if you are trading the strategy for options contract. If you are an option buyer, you can select only buy. And if you are an option seller, you can select only sell. If you want to trade the super trend signals for both buy and sell, you can create two instances of the strategy. One for the call option and one for the put option. And buy only or sell only based on how you prefer to trade. The strategy allows placing stop loss with multiple options. You can disable the stop loss if you have selected the exit based on super trend reversal. You can place an order based on absolute points or at a percentage of risk that you would like to take. Super trend fixed is a parameter to place the order at the super trend value when the signal was generated. In this case, you can also set the offset points using the parameter stop loss value. This offset can act as a buffer instead of placing the stop loss at the actual stop loss value. There are three ways you can place the take profit order. If you disable, the exit will be based on super trend reversal. You can also place the exit based on absolute point or percentage. You can trail the stop loss to cost when a specific target is met. This specific target can be entered in the parameter trail to entry when in profit. For backtesting purpose, I am setting the absolute point as 100 as a take profit target. Since this is an intraday strategy, you can also decide the start time, last entry time and exit all position time.
Once you enter all these parameters, you can exit the settings window. Now that the strategy parameters are set, let us go to the backtesting environment and add the symbols and the period for which we want to do the backtest. You can set the interactive mode on to visually backtest the strategy and click on run to start the backtest. The status results will continue to show what is happening with the strategy backtest. The performance of the strategy can be visually tracked through account performance and charts and other panels in the application. Let me create a bind wherein we can track the account performance as well as the visual behavior of the strategy through the charts. As per the strategy parameters, the strategy is supposed to place a stop loss and take profit order. It is placing a stop loss order at the uh, super trend trailing and placing a take profit order at 100 points profit. So whenever a trade, trade is taken place, it immediately places a stop loss order as well as a take profit order. Remember that these orders are executed at the system level and the orders are sent to the exchange only when they are triggered. All these orders go as a market order even though they are stop loss order in the strategy. You can see the performance of the strategy where we saw some drawdown initially and it continuously shows a profit right now. We can also see the strategy uh, parameters or statistics where the number of trades taken, number of profitable trades, number of lost trades, the amount of profit on the profitable trades. All these parameters can be visually seen here. Since this is an intraday strategy, buy or sell signals triggered after the start of the day will be considered to place the orders. As per the time set for exit all positions, all open positions will be closed end of the day.
now that you've back tested the strategy you can make the strategy live through strategy manager where you can monitor all your strategies in a single panel so let's go to the strategy manager and select the strategy that we want to live trade select the settings give a name to the strategy so that you can identify what the strategy is for and which under which symbol the strategy is running you can select the symbol i'm selecting an option symbol here selecting the account under which i want to do the trade i can select the super trend parameters the interval in this case i'm selecting buy only option with an absolute point of 40 points and run the strategy you can add multiple instances of this strategy for different symbols Since the strategy validation and execution is done from a local machine, a continuous connection to your broker is necessary for proper execution. We will continue to add new strategies to our library and then subscribe to our channel for more updates.